App Builder has a rich theming capability. In this video, you're gonna see how to use a default theme in App Builder, how to apply a custom theme, and how to even create your own theme that you can apply across your projects. Let's get started. Let's open one of the sample apps, the People app. And what we'll do with the People app is experiment with how the themes look by default. So for example, let's go over to the home screen, and then I'll flick over to the Themes tab. On the Themes tab, you'll see that the Material Light is chosen. That's the default theme for this sample. What we ship with App Builder are three base themes, Bootstrap, Light and Dark, Fluent Light and Dark, and Material Light and Dark. In the theming, as you select and it updates the application, goes beyond just the colors. So what we're doing with the themes is we are changing the typography, the fonts, the elevation, and the roundness of the button. So you'll notice as I'm selecting between, for example, material and fluent, that the application actually changes a little bit. It's not just the colors. Now for any one of these themes, if you'd like, you can click the overflow, go to the options, and duplicate the theme. So for example, for my Bootstrap Dark, I can click Duplicate, and now I'm in the Theme Editor. I can give this a name. I can just call it my Bootstrap Dark. And let's say there was something I didn't like about it, like the roundness, and I might want um, complete round, and the elevation I might want flat, and then I might want to change typography to Noto Sans JP, hit save, and now the application is updated. And then that theme ends up in the custom themes dropdown. So we were at the default before, and now here I am at the custom theme. You'll also notice that I have several custom themes already created. The way that the custom themes work is applications in App Builder are based on living in a workspace. So any application that lives inside of the same workspace shares the same theme. So you might have 10 applications you're working on with your team and you're sharing these different themes across the workspaces. So here if I select some of the other themes that were created, you can see that just a simple click updates the application. Now if I go back to the default themes and let's just go to Bootstrap Light, it's a very nice theme. If I go to the preview, you can see how it looks in the preview editor, uh, basically pixel perfect to the theme. If I click edit again and I want to create my own new custom theme not based on one of these, I can click the plus sign, I'll just call it new theme demo and let's say the, the base theme will be a, a fluent and I want to do a dark theme, but I want to change the color. So let's say this color is going to be a bluish color. And the secondary color can be maybe a lighter, a lighter shade of green. Do that. The surface color will change to a nice blue. And we will change the typography again from Open Sans to Roboto Condensed, we'll leave roundness, etc. So I have new theme demo, I hit save, my application gets updated, and then my new theme demo will be in the chooser. Now, let's say for example, there is something that I want to override in the application itself. In the property editor on the right hand side, you have an appearance option. In the appearance option, you can choose complementary colors from this theme and apply them to any control that's on a screen. So let's say I want to change this background to green. I want the border to be a blue and now that gets updated as you would expect. At the same time, if you don't like one of the colors in the theme chooser, you can type or paste any hex value in the editor and it will update like so. So I just pasted in the hex value for red and now my red background is there. Now if I go back to the default themes and I go back to a bootstrap light, since this particular box was overridden with my custom color, the theme is applied to all of the other components and screens in the application. So with one click you can apply a theme to your entire application. You can create a custom theme or you can override individual components in a theme in the App Builder. To get more great videos like this to learn how to use the App Builder and other Infragistics tools, click the subscribe button to get a notification when we post new content.